Hi, in today's video we are going to talk a little bit more about bookmakers and how exactly they make their money but before that I'm going to remind you to subscribe to the channel and press the bell because this channel is for people who are interested in how to make money from sport betting in the long run. The basic business model of the bookies is, is to accept bet on different outcomes of different sporting events. For example, West Ham are away to Everton and if you look at different bookmakers you see that they offer different odds on the same markets. This means that they have different opinions on what is the probability of a particular outcome of the match. Most of the bookies make money by charging a certain percent margin on each bet of an event. This margin is then multiplied by the number of bets on their platform and the amount wagered. Bookmakers offer a huge selection of sporting events but they make sure that on each event they have a mathematical advantage against the player which is called edge. This is what people mean when they say that the casino always wins or in this case the house always wins. However, if the bookies did not have this margin, their business model would not be very successful. Simply put, if we turn probability percentages into odds, they offer lower odds than they actually think are valid for the event. If a bookmaker thinks that there is a 50% chance that Man City will win against Tottenham, they will not give odds of 2 which actually corresponds to the percentage but we'll give for example 1.85 in those 1500s that their sure win or commission lies. In the description I will link to our betting calculators which you can use to find out what probability each odd corresponds to as well as what the margin is for each event and its specified odds. Of course the margin is different for different bookies. Here is an example. We can see that two different bookmakers with different business models of course also have different opinions about the outcome of the event. The European bookmaker has a 6.78% margin on this event. This means that for every 100 euro bet on the event, 93 euro and 22 cents is paid to the players. That is a commission and this is their sure profit. On the other hand, the Asian bookmaker has a much lower margin. The reason is the different business model. Asian bookmakers rely on a much higher turnover to make up the difference from the lower margin. That is, the margin is multiplied by the turnover which equals the profit. From the player's point of view, in order to win in the long run, they need to have an edge over the bookmaker. However, how is the probability calculated? How do bookies judge that there is a 54% chance that one team will win. Bookmakers have experts who deal with this activity. Generally speaking, they look at a huge number of different factors and judge the most appropriate odds, but the judgment can be made in quite different ways, which is why different bookies have different odds compared to others. Going back to the soft and sharp bookies, besides the business model, you can see the other big differences between them. Generally speaking, the European bookies judge through their teams and analysis what the odds should be and copy from each other, while the Asian ones rely on the huge turnover and bets, usually from quite professional players, to balance the odds. This is exactly why they put low limits at the beginning of the early market or when the market opens on the lower leagues and a bigger one on the bigger leagues than which each bet the odds are edited becoming more accurate. I'll give you another example to make it easier to understand. Let's say the Asian bookies sell soda and the European bookies sell whiskey. If you sell soda you can sell for example a million bottles but you will have a profit of one euro which is one million euro. However, if you sell let's say some expensive 30 year old age whiskey then one bottle might be 1000 euro then you only need to sell 10 bottles to make 1 million so that's the easiest example of how the asian book is just rely on huge turnover while the european ones rely on a bigger margin the reason why asian book is rely on the big turnover is because that's where the big players are the syndicates the pros the sharks and so on the bigger the event, the bigger the maximum bet limit even when the market opens. Asian bookies are known for having the highest limits. That's what attracts the sharks to bet there of course and the fact that there is no limit of the account. For this reason you will see much faster odds movement on Asian bookies because of the high turnover. In the first example with the Everton West Ham match, if the syndicates decide that the odds for Everton are undervalued and too high, 
they will be bet a large amount of on the toughies which will cause the odds to drop. At some point other professional bettors may decide that the odds for West Ham have become undervalued and the opposite for Everton so they can bet on draw or West Ham accordingly. This is exactly how such punters serve to balance and most accurately determine the odds and therefore just before the start of the event when all the bets are collected the odds are most accurate. From this we can conclude that money equals information. As when the markets opens, the odds were one way and before the match quite different. The same applies to the limits. They are the lowest at the beginning and the highest at the end. Basically, you can see for yourself that these different business models attract different types of customers and that is the most normal thing in the world. Usually European bookmakers mostly try to attract amateurs and such bettors who usually bet on accumulators and rely mostly on luck. With Asian ones it is the opposite, except that the bettors on the European bookmakers usually place small amounts of money for big wins. Comparing them to the pros who play with much more money, mostly on single bets, we see that this is the direct example of the turnover difference and why the Euro bookies rely on the big margin and the Asian ones on the turnover. And to get rid of the pros, the soft bookmakers just limit the maximum bets on the accounts of people who have a clear betting strategy and catch value often, which means that they will win in the long run and are not profitable to the house. I hope you have some things cleared up about the bookies and exactly how they operate. We will certainly touch on this topic in the future. For now, if you found the video useful and enjoyed it, hit the like button and let us know in the comments what do you think about this. Goodbye from me.